Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal number 10 UL DV201 in a 26D finish, satin chrome. This is a fairly unusual, but not uncommon, door viewer. First reaction is, is probably, wow, that's tiny. Um, it's tiny because it's meant for thin doors, but really more so probably thin door panels. So this is a door viewer that's intended for use on doors that are one inch to inch and three eighths thick, which means that you'll have a panel perhaps in an inch and three quarter thick door that's not inch and three quarter thick. So you might be using it there as well. And the fact that this is a UL listed, 90 minute fire rated, um, viewer tells me that that's probably the case, that you're dealing with an inch and three quarter thick door that has an unusual panel thickness. Okay, nine sixteen. So we're going to go through the extended description information now. Uh, nine sixteenths of an inch bore for doors one to inch and three eighths thick. UL listed for ninety minute applications. Sold as each. Different uh, finishes are indeed available. There's a link below this video to a document called Cut Sheet where you can pull up what the catalog tear page would look like, but uh, and gives you the dimensional properties that are there. There's also a link to the product catalog and that will give you the finishes that it's available in. Okay, let's take a look. Which is going to show you that the 10 UL DV201 is available in four finishes. Here we go. US 3 for polished brass, US 15 for satin nickel. This is the 26D finish. And then lastly, oil rubbed bronze. So really the finish is going to apply to the bezel that's around the exterior circumference of the viewer and then the inside trim piece naturally. Okay. Other door viewers are listed there as well along with the privacy covers that are available. A metal flip down sort of privacy cover that will install underneath the interior portion very typical very common if you're doing uh, these days if you're doing a hotel you probably want to order that immediately uh, along with the door viewers um, residential sure ap uh, absolutely it will prevent someone from being able to uh, know if there's a shadow uh, that's being created on the inside of the space very very common with recent news events that have occurred the last handful of years with uh, manipulation of door viewers um, in public. Uh, other door viewers are again listed there along with knockers, associated products. Now, the cut sheet gives us these dimensional properties and let's test them now. You can see that we've got an outside diameter of the viewer of one inch and that is indeed correct. The inside, they tell us it's 9 sixteenths, which Forgive me, they don't tell us what that size is. The bore size is 9 sixteenths. An outside diameter of the interior portion is closer to 3 quarter. Okay. This is going to work from doors from 1 inch thick to inch and 3 eighths thick. And I'm coming up with this viewer being able to handle a door probably 7 eighths thick as well. I'm going to loosen that so we can just judge exactly how far this will go. The bore size again is 9 sixteenths of an inch and that is a reference to the size of the hole that you're going to drill. And keep in mind that we said that the inside was 3 quarter, the outside was 1 inch. So if I rotate that one or a couple of revolutions around, that's going to get us um, That's why we test these things, because what I'm seeing right here is 1 and 3 sixteenths. I get that backed out literally all the way and turn it a half of a turn. There's no way this is going to work on inch and 3 eighths thick doors. There's just no way. That's why we, te that's why we measure them. Um, 
be mindful that I'm coming up with inch and a quarter at a minimum. Be mindful that an inch and three eighths thick door is usually not 1.375. And what I mean, mean by that is if you put a caliper on a door, um, it will be 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, but I've measured the genuine article here, and it's not going to work on a door that's even nominally inch and three eighths. So be mindful of what we've just tested here in terms of um, our comparison against existing. Now, let's move on. Uh, bore size. I wouldn't dare try to put it on anything greater than inch and, inch and a quarter. Uh, bore size, 9 sixteenths. Okay, so you're going to use a 9 sixteenths of an inch drill bit you will uh, want to mark your location correctly. If you're doing a handicap compliant room, your height is going to be closer to about 48 inch off of the finished floor to the center line. Otherwise, a standard non-requirement for ADA compliance is about 60 inch. If you are installing it in a residential application, install it where it suits your user most appropriately. Um, you see some houses that have two installed. Well, grandma moved in and she's not the tallest member of the family and needs one a bit lower so you'll, you'll see two uh, in, uh, in that sort of installation so install them at the proper height if you're looking for a generic size 60 or 48 inch above the finished floor to the center line now what I like to be able to do is drill a small hole through the door so I can get it through the door and I don't dare go all the way through the door with my 916s because you're certainly going to rupture the veneer out uh, what I like to do is even drill partially on either side and I'll use a bit that I can score the circumference of the area, area that I'm drilling into when it's wood so that I don't rip the veneer, okay? Um, you've got one inch on the outside out here, right? So you're going to have plenty of area to conceal any sort of flare out, but that three quarter on the inside, that's going to be pretty tough when you're drilling a 9 16 hole. So be mindful to not just drill straight through because you'll rip that veneer out in most instances. Um, get it started with maybe a spade bit that's got those winged cutters on the outside just to score and you can use that to go through as well. But you want to drill that uh, on either side. Be mindful if you have a beveled door and you're drilling on both sides, uh, marking, measuring and marking on both sides of the door, that where you put your tape measure here and pull it over to the center of the door will be different than on the opposite side because your door is beveled. If you have a square edge door, nothing to really worry about. But what I'll do is I will come up with a vertical location, a horizontal location, and I'll take my eighth of an inch drill bit and I'll go through the door and mark it that way. That's just what I do. Drill real straight and be mindful that I'm a compensating for the bevel on the door ever so slightly uh, just to be sure of what I'm dealing with in terms of exact location so that everything looks nice. You know, if you're 332 of an inch off and you're horizontal, I don't think anyone will notice that. Now, very nice quality item. I wouldn't hesitate to use this Cal Royal prod uh, item whatsoever. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can review not only all of the Cal Royal products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Cal Royal, this is their part number UL10ULDD201 in a satin chrome finish or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.